The topic for this lesson is passive filters. Both passive and active filters are commonly found in low pass, band pass, and band reject or band stop type of filters. The major difference between them is that passive filters use passive components exclusively, resistances, capacitors, and inductors, to create a response which is frequency dependent, delivering an output which, at best, may be equal to the input. Active filters normally use some passive devices together with one or more active devices, transistors, or op amps. An active filter may provide the same frequency response as a passive filter, but can also provide gain provided by the active device so that the output may be larger than the input. The connection modes for passive filters are designated as L, T, or Pi and are shown in this illustration. Passive filters can be grouped into two categories by their component content. The first category, called non-resonant filters, include low pass and high pass types. The second category, called resonant filters, includes band pass and band reject types. All resonant filters must contain both a capacitor and an inductor, and both must be in the same segment of the filter. However, if the filter contains both inductance and capacitance, but they are in different segments of the filter, or if the filter contains any one reactive component, then the filter is non-resonant. Low pass and high pass filters must contain at least one reactive component since reactance varies with frequency whereas resistance does not. A low pass filter will pass low frequencies but block high frequencies to the output. A high pass filter does just the opposite however. It blocks low frequencies and passes high frequencies. If DC appears at the output the filter is a low pass. If DC is blocked from appearing at the output the filter is a high pass. Examples of low pass filters are shown. For the RC filter, the roll-off frequency occurs when R equals X sub C, where X sub C is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi times the frequency times the capacitance. Therefore, the frequency is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi times the resistance times the capacitance. Let's look at an example. In a low-pass RC filter, what is the characteristic roll-off frequency, also called the 3 dB down point, if R is equal to 2 kilo ohms and C is equal to 2 microfarads? Using the previous equation, the frequency is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi, or 6.28, times the resistance of 2 k ohms, times the capacitance 2 microfarads, or 39.8 hertz. For the RL filter, the roll-off frequency occurs when R equals X sub L, which is equal to 2 times the frequency times the inductance. Therefore, the frequency is equal to the resistance divided by 2 pi times the inductance. For example, in a low-pass RL filter, what is the characteristic roll-off or 3 dB frequency if R is equal to 180 ohms and L equals 20 millihenries? Using the previous equation, the frequency is equal to the resistance, 180 ohms, divided by 2 pi times the inductance, 20 millihenries, or approximately 1433.1 hertz. For the LC filter, the characteristic roll-off frequency occurs when X sub L equals X sub C and the frequency then becomes equal to 1 divided by 2 pi times the square root of the inductance times the capacitance. For example, in a low-pass LC filter, what is the characteristic roll-off or 3 dB frequency if L equals 3 millihenries and C equals 6 microfarads? Using the previous equation, the frequency is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi times the square root of the inductance, 3 millihenries, times the capacitance, 6 microfarads, or 1186.9 hertz. This illustration shows passive high-pass filters. The roll-off frequency formulas are the same as for low-pass filters. The equation shown is used to calculate the center frequency for band-pass and band-reject filters. 